to the show today. Still in isolation, but Marzen, what's happening on it? We're deep into these United Movement workouts. We still gotta do number four though today, so we're gonna go call Chandler Smith, catch up, and get some tips. And we're also gonna do some other things, like talk to Jeff Bessie Schaffer about the CrossFit Games. Yeah, top 10 of the CrossFit Games, not to mention. And then, uh, what do you know about those ropes? We got some brand new ropes, so we did a virtual anti-team challenge. We're gonna pick a winner from the people that submitted their videos. I can't wait, but let's roll the footage! Okay. That's the intro. That's uh, we're back. At, we're back to us just talking again. All right. It's been a week of workouts with United and Movement. How many have we done? Enough to be sore, real sore. I've done four. I've only beat you on one, so I'm down. So we've done workout one, two, three, five. five. Go. We got one done. Okay, United and Movement workout two. What's up? Oh my gosh, no, I'm gonna puke. Uh, workout four was announced by our friend Chandler Smith, so we thought we'd give him a call, check in, get some tips. What's oh, up? Ho, ho, ho. Ah, so good to hear from you. Good, man. I'm glad that you guys are still out there throwing down. I'm glad you guys tried to call me for some extra advice on how to not be good at things. Oh, oh come uh, on. Uh, you, you're so humble uh, right so now. Humble. You know, you're one of the, you're one of the most you know, humbling persons that we've ever talked to, you know? Yeah. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Chandler Smith. I'm out here with Noah. We got the marker yo, in there. Yo. We're a little bit lighter fat, a little easier on the eyes. We're better guys. That's why we are the margarine men. So check us out. Head to the Nike store. Gonna cut some guy. My guy. Yeah, you're right. That's what, I gotta take the margarine men attitude. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I've been away from, when you get cooped in so long, you can just, you're just left with your own thoughts. And that was kind of, kind of my Super Bowl for the season since West Coast Classic was canceled and like I hadn't really got to compete in months and that was my big chance to shine for that United and Movement workout for and I lost. So kind of <laughs> well, tell us about it. it. We're 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 looking to we're looking to do it. Yeah. What what mistakes were made? How can we how can we we beat you? If you want to beat me? First off, you guys got to go way back whenever you were born and pick <laughs> just a completely different selection of parents. So start there. Um, yeah, I need I need my genetic code yeah, altered a little bit. Um, for the workout. Uh, Step one, make sure you got chalk and you don't drop the dumbbell. Tip one, have chalk. You, do we have chalk? Ain't got no chalk, boss. All right, well, let's hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take five pounds to the dome, so I'm adding an extra layer of caution. The work I calls for a 50 pound dumbbell, I only have a 45 and a five, so we're getting Home Depot on this shit, you know? DIY, Marguerite Thatcher, Martha Stewart, what you know about it? I'm gonna take you all out for dinner. Fish tacos. Shirts are dumb, get it, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just cheerlead for the round, round one. Yeah, remember nine minutes in heaven where you'd, you'd go into the closet and you'd, no. knock, you'd be too afraid to kiss a girl? Do I look jacked in this? Huh? You know what, the bike is a phenomenal tool. It's not a great body position for Here. looking hot, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're doing the hang clean and jerk and snatches, I think you can um, recover more in those. Like you're only gonna do the butterfly setup so as fast as you can, right? Like that's a pretty set motion. I don't really know if you're, maybe you have really strong abs, you're able to go. Keeper, you got some great abs. You can go, Dad I don't bar. know where they're hiding. He has great abs. <laughs> abs, abs. <laughs> um, the speed for those, I think isn't like super variable, but you can definitely go faster or slower on the hang clean jerks and snatches. And if you're trying to do big sets and hold on as long as you can for the hang clean jerks and snatches, you're gonna probably want to bring the rep speed down. So that way you're not jacking your heart rate through the roof and having a hard time. Um, like holding on to the dumbbells. We can get kind of grippy um, over the course of the nine minutes. So got to be a little proactive in making sure you're picking a good pace for the dumbbell movement because the sit-ups are going to happen. You're going to be on your back anyways, like so there's not a whole bunch of metabolic effort being um, exercised during that part anyway. So really control your uh, your movement speed during the hang clean and jerk snatches and then make sure those transitions during the the alternating part of the dumbbell movements are, are smooth by my two big pieces of advice. All right, dude. Thanks for telling us the advice <laughs> for this, this workout. We're going to go get you know, fit. About to nice do some sit-ups. 
All right. Okay. Thank, thanks for catching up with us, man. Oh. No problem. Who's gonna win? I mean, yeah, he, this guy. Dude, this guy's he's beat me on what, three out of four? Yeah, three out of four right now. I I, I just gotta seal the seal the series right now with this babe, bad boy. Keep your neck on his throat. Don't let him breathe. Yeah, I'll step on his <laughs> face. All right. Later, All right, dude. dude. Later. Ten seconds. <laughs> what a loser. Okay, you're gonna be great. I would like to get at least two rounds. The lucky goal. Oh. Chicken cutlets. All day. I like to do these like big sweeping shots, like push in. And then you gotta put like stuff in the foreground right here, so like this. That's the angle right there. Earning himself a steak dinner, tomahawk. Yosemite Sam's gallbladder up in there. Hi, honey. Oh, I feel like I'm skiing right now. Fresh pow, baby. Huh. You got 10 minutes left? Yeah. Damn, is that a round? One game win streak. Shit. Whole minute ahead of me? Too bad I can't do this shit in the open, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I can't even believe it. This boy's moving so incredibly well. Makes me so proud. Once in a week. Quit running your mouth, you Time. Damn, dude. How many dumbbell snatches? 16 clean and jerks in the second round. One game win streak! Damn. Oh, I can't, I can't jump. My abs are cramping. Oh no. Damn, did you, you think you just cycled that that much faster than me or what? Yeah. Let's be honest, I probably rode the line of what was a rep or no rep. Yeah, but nothing new. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. The most awkward part. It's going to snatches after clean and jerk because you're so used to the way that feels to then just skip it. You're like, I felt like I was doing something wrong. That wasn't near as bad as number five. Not, not by a long shot. Smoke me. Maybe I need to shave. Yeah, dude, let's talk. Sit down, let's talk about your escape game. Oh, okay. What's your escape? Uh, my skate, skate game, game is I wait for it to get real out of control and then I shave it into a towel and then bring it outside and give it a good shake so it becomes one with the earth. Cool. Let's talk about phone etiquette with Marsden. He and I take a lot of business calls together. This is a true story. We once had a phone call with the sponsor and Marsden was trimming his chest mid phone call. Didn't, didn't. Next to the air conditioner, but I had it on mute so you know. No, you didn't have it on mute. That's how I knew you were shaving. Really? Yeah. How much more powerful do I look in this stance though? Oh, the white stance is a powerful yeah. How are your abs? I don't know, you tell me. They look great. Do you have any laundry needs to be done? <sighs> oh. I'll just be out at the creek, washing shirts. Make sure they're nice and scrubbed. We don't yeah, have a washing man. machine here. I like them nice and pressed. Oh, you I know? like my, my whites and my colors done separately. <laughs> Will you press I like my a shirt? dark and a light colors done separately. No, to be honest, I, I do lights and darks all in one, and I really just give it a good shove. What about whites? Do you put whites in there too? Yeah, I only have a couple whites. You know, I'm willing to sacrifice the whites. I feel like it's whites a don't last. You're to mass. Whites don't last long. No, they don't. Uh, Holy cow! Should we check in with the gang? Let's check in with the gang. Okay. All right, everybody, let's talk about the Butter Gang. You might have heard us talk about the Butter Gang. We've done it on every episode since like June. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Let's go over to the Butter Gang. Butter Gang. Shout out to the Butter Gang. The Butter Gang. Butter Gang. What is the Butter Gang? Uh, the Butter Gang is a community on Woo where you can join our team, use code Pancakes, but it's basically a way to have a community on there that hold each other accountable. You can look at each other's strain, recovery, sleep. Let's talk about who's sleeping. Bernie. Somebody go wake up Joe. Joe, are you okay? Are you alive? Track your HRV. 
Heart rate variability, baby. Checks your recovery. What I really like is the sleep. So you can click on there and it'll tell you if you slept light, if you have any REM sleep, how many deep wave sleeps you got. Uh, just because I'm usually a really light sleeper and I don't usually uh, get any REM. So depending on what I do and how much my strain is in the day kind of affects that. It also tracks your respiratory rate, which is super important right now because of what's happening with COVID-19. Basically, if your respiratory rate goes up, it's an early indicator, even if you have zero signs, that you might be a carrier for COVID-19 and you should get tested. It's actually a really remarkable wearable tech piece that people are using to be able to track really important health mar markers right now. They are also donating in the month of April $50 for every purchase of a WHOOP to those affected by COVID-19. More details of that in the link in the description. Use code PANCAKES, get yourself a WHOOP, take care of your body. Okay, let's uh, go catch up with some Bethany Shadburn. Okay, let's jump right into the CrossFit Games experience. You had an injury going in. Like we talked on uh, yeah. during check-in and you said, hey, my back's not feeling so good. Uh, honestly, the whole year was like a whirlwind because I hadn't competed since last December in Dubai. That was like my last competition other than like the Open. Dubai 2018 when you were the first person to qualify for the Reebok CrossFit Games in 2019. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, but I didn't get my ticket until six weeks before the Games. <laughs> so you qualified in <laughs> December of 2018. You didn't know you qualified yeah. until June of 2019. Basically, like I had an idea, obviously, because people were telling me, but I was like, it's not set in stone until you actually get your ticket, right? Wow. And so I was just like waiting, waiting, and waiting, and I was just like, hmm, maybe I'm not going, I don't know. And then three weeks leading up to the games, I hurt my back. I didn't touch a barbell until I got to Madison. Wow, oh, that's wow. crazy. Wow. Yeah. And didn't you also have like a car? Scared out of my mind. A car, like a car mishap or something you said with your garage door or something oh, yeah. hey, hey, hang on hang on Be before you go any further we gotta switch legs switch switch, up, switch legs switch leg switch. we were parked inside the garage of the airbnb and i clicked the door the garage door opener and it was going up but i pedaled to the metal a little too quickly and i <laughs> ran to the garage door oh shit <laughs> never been in a car accident never never hit a car never hit anything and that was the first time ever and i was like oh, of course right before the crossfit game oh, and bummer. so i had to pay a bunch of money and yeah that was fun i get into like a competition mode which i think most athletes do and like when you're in it you're just like oh man okay well i didn't get cut the first round all right that's good that's good news that's good news all right i'll make the second cut and i just kept on making it through all the cuts and i was just like Am I in a dream or is this really happening? I just don't feel like I should be here right now with all the things that have happened. And I don't know. I guess my mind just kind of switched. So I was like, well, I'm here, so I need to make the most of it. All right, let's switch up. Switch up. You gotta go to, we're going to go to a, the butterfly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that doggy. No. No. I think me and Haley, when we made it to the top 10 and they did the cut, I think we were both kind of feeling not guilty, but we're like, are we worthy enough to be here in the top 10? And I think Dave Casho did a really good job of explaining that when we went from 20 to 10. And he said something like, now that we have the fittest, let's test strength. Like, okay, like we're, we're supposed to be here. Like we're meant to be here kind of thing. You mentioned that you hadn't touched a barbell oh. before the, the games and then... Then they yeah. announced a heavy clean. Heavy clean. Was that because oh you, your back was hurt or what was going on there? Let's be honest. Like, I'm just not good at clean. We're, okay. Bethany is not good at clean. Bethany's not good at snatches. We're not good at heavy lifting. So even if my back was healthy, if when I was able to clean 215, it's just... <laughs> I should be able to, honestly. I should be too, but I can't. <laughs> I remember talking to you on Sunday morning before the swim and you were just saying how sore you were and how beat up you felt. Where are you sore? Everywhere. Biceps, quads. I think I have some doms for my back from the ruck. Doms? Doms. Doms. I got some doms. I mean, it's just about volume when you go to like the cross of the games or like a three or four day competition. It's how much can your body take and how fast can your body recover. So yeah, my body was hurting. 
really bad. <laughs> well, you still finished top 10. Yeah, eighth, right? Yeah, thank God. So I feel like I have more to give, but I think most athletes still like that. But uh, at the same time, I feel super blessed being in the top eight, being able to say that I finished in the top 10. Yeah, absolutely. I want yeah, you to show me around. Give me a virtual tour of your gym you have right there. Yeah, that looks like quite the living room <laughs> setup you got. A rower, echo bike. I got the crossover symmetry right here. Uh, I got like a sore neck roller, which is dope. I like that you not this only have thing. a barbell, but you have a trap bar as well. Oh, yeah, I have a trap bar. I got rings that I hook up outside. So I'm on the second floor, so I just put them over the stairs. Let's see, I got a a bunch of dumbbells. Oh, and then like more plates. I got my chalk bucket, my Yeti chalk bucket. Wall ball, sandbag, four plates. And then I got kettlebells in here. So is that in the bathroom? Yeah, kettlebells in the bathroom? Yeah. Are they, that is the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the bathroom. <laughs> I got a kettlebell rack in the bathroom. We got some rapid fire questions for you. Uh, question one, taco or burrito? Taco. Do you say dinosaur or dinosaur? Dinosaur. Exactly. He dinosaur? says dinosaur. dinosaur. I dinosaur. say dinosaur. I don't understand why. Dinosaur? Dinosaur. Okay, favorite dessert? Dark chocolate. Favorite cereal? Captain Crunch with the mixed berries in it. Uh, you like dumbbells or a barbell? Dumbbells. Come on. Me, barbell? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I, maybe. Uh, what are you binge watching on Netflix or what are you watching these days? Oh, Gilmore Girls? <laughs> <laughs> favorite uh, hobby outside of fitness? Um, honestly, I'm a loser, so I just like walking outside on, like, hiking and stuff. Walking outside. My hobby is walking outside. <laughs> I love a good sidewalk. Well, I take Bella on a lot of walks, so. Okay. Favorite, what's outside. your favorite movie of all time? Um, I really like White Chicks. Oh. White Chicks is your favorite? Oh, and, uh, Got one back. Maze. I like Bridesmaids and White Chicks. Those Bridesmaids is okay, great. Bridesmaids, I'll give you that. White Chicks is great. Hilarious. White Chicks, that's a Melissa McCarthy is hilarious. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show today, Bethany. Thank you. Yeah, You're the course. best. Thank you for having me. Good luck. And uh, we don't know what's happening in 2020, but whatever the next yeah. season is, good luck. Yeah, whatever happens. And we're rooting for you. <laughs> thank you. All, All right, right. Thanks. Later. All right, later, guys. Hi, honey. Hey. Ah, so we got this new jump rope. We put it out to the people. It blew up. They sold way quicker than we anticipated. They're gone. They'll be back. Get a face. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go. We did an Annie, which was a virtual Annie, where I went and Heber went. There you go, Heber. And then whatever our combined time was, if you beat that time, we're going to send you this rope. Whoever did it the fastest also won a rope. So we're giving away four ropes, and the winners are... So we had a few winners. A bunch of people submitted. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The first person to beat our time was Kayla Shakespeare Taylor. 940 or 941. Kayla Shakespeare Taylor! And, and Kyler B Bauscher. Kyler Bauscher! Well, I think he's a fellow Utah. Welcome to Utah. Welcome to the homeland, Kyler. Chosen state. The fastest time of the day. How fast? The Robin Smith and her significant other. Robin Smith. But they got a total time of 9. 28. Dang, dog. So those are our winners. Congratulations. Send them a row. And uh, that's the end of our show today. How are we going to roll out? Well, you know. I can't even see you in this hoodie. Yeah, man. I'm just teeth and eyes. Balls and gooches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to roll out with a uh, montage of sorts from all around the world whenever we've seen the litter box. So uh, thanks for joining us this week. We out. <laughs> That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, the spot right there. <laughs> Go on, he's gonna add that in. <laughs>
Is that the newest one on Go Watch? Yeah, that's yeah, the newest yeah. one. It's going to be dropping next week. Yeah, you got to get the update. <laughs>